So let's talk about VAs, virtual assistants. I get a lot of questions about this. What does my VA do for me? Where can you hire a virtual assistant? What could they do for your business? So let's talk about it. Another cars and coffee. All right, go for it. Holy shit, that's a big cilantro. Do you like put this in a cup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, feel this plump. Those look amazing. Just went to the farmer's market, now making bulletproof coffee. This looks so good. I know everyone's curious. He's doing a little better. Look at these little new sprouts. So, I think he's gonna make it. First off, if you're new here, my name is Matt Loberstein. I mainly talk in this channel about my seven-figure Amazon e-commerce business, how I've gotten to this point over the years, um, what I am doing as I progress as an entrepreneur as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out the previous videos. Oh, and also sometimes I have other random stuff in my videos like the car stuff uh, or whatever else I'm interested in. So hopefully you like some of that too. So let me start by telling you kind of like what my main VA, Francis, who is editing these videos and much more, let me tell you what his main sort of roles are. So since, actually let me back up. So he's been working for me for over a year and a half at this point. Um, and he started off mainly doing uh, customer service in my business, so responding to customer messages and everything else customer service related, meaning uh, putting in replacement orders when a customer needs a, a new product because there was an issue or they need a, ref, uh, a refund process because they were unhappy for some reason. Um, also monitoring reviews, responding to negative reviews, responding to negative feedback, getting it removed when possible, all that kind of day-to-day just customer satisfaction type of stuff. Now, the reason that my VA is a total superstar and he counts as like five VAs normally is because he has a background in photography and graphic design. So he also like designs all of my logos. He edits all of my photos for um, for Instagram too, or for, for Amazon specifically, adds, you know, text or graphics, or just, you know, makes the colors pop so that it looks really nice. And since he has this background in actual photography also, I will even have set products sent to the Philippines uh, where he will photograph, edit, and then upload them where they need to go. Um, so that was, those were his main roles for the first uh, year or so, basically customer service and graphic and photo. So anything, anything graphic related, anything customer service related, that was totally on him or on you if you were editing this because that is your newer role, which is now he um, edits all of these videos. So if you are impressed by say that car sequence at the beginning, that is an example of what, you know, a skilled virtual assistant video editor could do for you. So um, I think there is like a kind of a common misconception about virtual assistants that it's just kind of like basic tasks or like, uh, you know, just like typing in stuff or very basic things. But the truth is, is that you can hire people based on any skill set. You can hire people that are way better than you at something and elevate that aspect of your business. For example, I didn't want to, I, I mainly didn't. I think I could be a good editor, but I wasn't about to drop all of that time learning how to and spending five or six hours per video to make them up to the quality that I wanted. So I hired that out and I took a loss on this YouTube channel at the beginning because I just wanted to make it great and I, want, and I was willing to make that investment. So Francis, my VA, has 
learned video editing. He had some video skills already, um, but he was mainly into graphic and photo. So, you know, he dug into tutorials. He studied, you know, D-Rock and all of these other YouTubers we took inspiration from and we talked about the aesthetic we wanted. And now he just cranks these out. I just upload my footage, just raw footage. Um, I just hold the camera and then he spits out these beautiful vlogs that you guys see and hopefully enjoy. <laughs> so to summarize that, his main roles as of now are editing these videos, 100% of that. Like I don't touch it. We barely even have to talk about what we do or do want. We'll run some things back and forth. Any other graphic things, like when you see I have like a something on my Instagram story that is sort of like a, hey, there's a new video, go watch it. He makes those. Uh, he still manages all the customer service in on Amazon, meaning customer messages all of the monitoring reviews, everything that I said, uh, which I'll probably outsource to somebody else to get that off of his plate soon. Um, and still does all the graphic stuff for my physical product brands. If I need a new logo for a new thing or we need some sort of graphic done, uh, that is his responsibility. I don't do any of those things and I don't really know how to do any of those things. So that kind of ties me into my next point, which is what can a VA do for you? And the truth is, anything if you find somebody that is skilled at those things like if you needed an operations manager you could find somebody with that experience if you needed somebody with logistics experience you could find somebody with that experience video editing photo editing photographer um just customer service skills phone skills um maybe even more of a marketing role maybe it could be managing your social media accounts like a social media manager so it truly is endless and i think the best way to think about where to hire next is what are you spending a lot of time on in your day-to-day -day as the business owner that you could take off your plate? Or what do you not like doing? What is not the best use of your time as the entrepreneur when your job should be thinking about growing the business? And I think this is an area that I could be much better in myself. Uh, I think my team could be much bigger. Hopefully my team gets bigger this year in 2018 because yeah, I think I could use VAs and or, or not virtual, maybe local as well, but it's not just about taking things off your plate, but it can also be about finding leverage points to grow further. So, so bringing in somebody that is an expert at something that you're not an expert in to take some aspect of your business to the next level. So, you know, for me, maybe that would be hiring a sales specialist to then take my product to wholesale opportunities such as retail stores or other online retailers or, uh, you know, ex maybe, uh, maybe international export to, to retailers in other countries as well. That one might not be a virtual position, but maybe something like managing logistics would be. For example, communicating with my freight forwarders about where my product is in terms of its timeline coming across the ocean and sending all of the appropriate labels to whoever needs them at the right time. You know, getting those labels from Amazon, sending them to the freight forwarder, uh, communicating with the supplier to the freight forwarder, just kind of like managing all of that. That is absolutely something that you could outsource. So while I do think you should start with what are the things that you're kind of wasting your time with? Like what, what is not required of you as the business owner? What could you just get off your plate? And usually that's like customer service, those types of things first, kind of like repetitive tasks that you could be using your time better than. But also keep in mind that you can use team, you can use team to grow what you can't do. And that is really where businesses truly scale. That is, I mean, and that's the aspect where I am by no means an expert and could be much better. And hopefully you guys will see me progressing and growing a, a, more of a team around me. But uh, you know, that is where it, it becomes bigger than you and you focus on growth and you know, getting people in positions with specific roles. So as far as where to actually hire virtual assistants, um, some of the resources that you'll see pop up a lot are Fiverr and Upwork. And while I will not say those are terrible services, those are not the ones that I'm going to recommend. I think that those are okay and manageable if you just need a one-off task, meaning there's just one thing you need done one time, absolutely you can go find somebody on those websites to do it for you. But what I wanna talk about is the resource that myself and all of the business owners that I know that are actually bringing on what I would refer to as a team member, somebody that is working for you long-term, they all use the same resource. So you guys, like I don't, I don't push a lot of tools or resources by any means, only stuff that I'm talking about. Um, like there's a handful of links in the descriptions for stuff that I use, but this is this is my top one. I mean, if like I am not a tools junkie, like I am pretty agnostic to like what tools you guys use in your business. I'm not one of those people that thinks 
like, you know, using this keyword tool instead of that keyword tool is gonna be what makes or breaks your business necessarily. But this particular site, I am particularly passionate about, so I am an affiliate for them, just full, you know, disclosure. I would, I never, you guys know my stuff, but for those of you who, who are new, I would never put a link to something that, that I don't personally use, but I am so serious that this is like the legitimate best resource for this if you're looking for it. So I just wanna like throw that out there before I'm talking about it. I do have a link, if you use my link, I do get a kickback, but it is, truly the resource that you wanna use if you're looking for VAs. And that is onlinejobs.ph. Again, I have a link down there. Uh, but this site is great and it's not free. I'll also say that it's not free, but you can cancel it after you're done finding someone. So it's not like you have to pay for it forever or anything. Just, you know, sign up for it, get what you need out of it. And then if you no longer are hiring, then, you know, stop paying for it and then you're good. Uh, so, uh, and they've changed the price recently. So I don't wanna say the wrong price, but just check it out. And um, so, there's two ways you can use it. One, you can just browse all of the existing resumes and search through for people that have the skills that you're looking for. But what I like to do is you can actually post a job offer, like as if you're an employer, because you are. So you can make an outline of exactly what you're looking for. So say you're looking for a video editor, don't just be like looking for a video editor, you know, give them examples, like link them Casey Neistat or Gary Vee and be like, I'm, I'm looking for somebody that can do this with this and this and this, and here's my ideas, boom, boom, boom. Let them know. You know, ultimately, one thing that you need to understand with VAs is there are people on the other end. So you just need to communicate and make it clear what you want. And then you're gonna be flooded with applicants, which is the amazing part of posting a job is then you'll just get, you know, depending on your position, but you might get a hundred applicants uh, for you to dig through. And then you can, you know, put them through questions or test work or something like that. But uh, I love doing that because then you just, you know, it's right in your inbox and you just get to sift through and figure out who uh, who seems to be the best fit for you or, or maybe the few that seem to be the best fit and you talk to those people and then move forward with narrowing it down. So yeah, definitely if you're at all ever going to hire a virtual assistant, uh, definitely onlinejobs.ph. Um, that's just the go-to resource for people that are actually gonna be on board, on your team, long-term. It is a job. I mean, you're giving you're giving them a job that is not just a task, right? So again, task is more like Fiverr or Upwork. Online jobs is like, hey, I am hiring somebody that I want to stick around. Like, I think Francis and, you know, Francis has told me like he wants to work for me for a really, really long time and that's incredible and that's awesome. So, you know, that's the type of stuff that you are looking for, you know? So that's why that's, and that's across the board. It's not just me. I mean, don't just take my word for anything ever. I mean, you should always be, getting multiple opinions, but that is the resource. All right, guys, this is many hours later. Um, just been getting some work done, ate dinner, typical stuff. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope that that was some good insight into VA's virtual assistants. Uh, I hope you guys go out and hire some help for your business or get your business to a point where you need things like that. Uh, usually means things are going pretty well. So hope that was helpful. Um, if you're new here, of course, subscribe. Uh, there's also a Facebook group in the description. It's free, of course, get in there. Best place to ask questions. Myself, I can help you or others can help you. And if I give an answer, then multiple people can benefit. So it's a really a solid thing. You can also check out my Instagram, follow me there. Uh, you can try to shoot me a DM. I do my best to get back. Uh, comments as well, I'm always doing my best to get back. So that said, that is all. See you in the next one. So as far as, as, as fart, cut that out. Did you hear that, Jess? I was trying to say as far, and I think I said as fart. <laughs> Francis cut it. <laughs>